no flashback because I'm just trying to get my YouTube coverage uh, completed.
have this fuel mix R&D upgrade, we would not have been leading right now. We lost the lead and we're still holding on. The, after 48 of 61 laps, we're still holding on. In the last uh, 13 laps of this race, next time around, we'll be 13 laps remaining here in the Singapore Grand Prix. Can I still try to hold off? Max Verstappen. I don't even know why he didn't go with another set of mediums and he went with the hards. It is working for him, but he's still not uh, making an advantage. Verstappen slipped a little bit coming out of that turn. He just wiggled his car. He is racing hard out there to try to get around me, but he's not doing it. I think that was the moment of the race when Verstappen pitted to go to uh, the hard tires. I got by him over the S's and then took the lead. Max Verstappen is starting to lose ground on those hard tires. 
Remember, they run the, a second and a half slower. And then we got a fast lap on lap 51. We have 11 laps remaining here in the Singapore Grand Prix. Verstappen is not going to give up without a fight. He wants to get that lead away from me. But I'm still running pretty fast out there. And he's still not gaining ground uh, coming into this straightaway. Because I'm getting excellent fuel mileage. soft tires and then he went to mediums the rest of the way and they, he had no turning back. I finished second the last season on my Team Table career mode and I'm doing the same strategy as Hamilton did last season. And look where I am now, leading the Singapore Grand Prix. got the advantage. Is he going to do it? He's, nope, he is not going to do it. We're stopping tries. But he doesn't, do, he doesn't make it. We have 10 laps to go here at the Singapore Grand Prix. This is the battle for the win and this is the, also the championship contention battle for the world championship. Man, what a good job for Hamilton and me working on this strategy, and it's working very beautifully. And he is closing in on us because look at this. Ricardo and Hamilton are closing. They have the fresher medium tires. It might be a freight train of, at the end of this race. We have to keep our eyes open with Ricardo and Hamilton.
54, 61 laps. I am hanging on to this lead here at the Marina Bay Circuit at the Singapore Airlines Grand Prix. Holding off, Max Verstappen. I'm about four or five car lengths ahead of him, but Ricardo and Hamilton have the pressure tires, and they're coming. Let's see where my teammate is. Sergio Perez hasn't gained any ground at all, and he's running in P9. He started in P2, but it looks like he didn't work his strategy too well. And then he had to pit again for the medium. So, and I did a great job, and I'm staying out there because uh, these tires can't last. And they're getting already getting weaker right there, and that's why Verstappen is uh, closing. See how many? Uh, it's only 30 percent, and I. Done a great job saving them. And Ricardo and Hamilton are coming, but they are running out of time because we're at, already after 54 of 61 laps. seconds and Hamilton is closing in on Ricardo for that podium spot. Ricardo is on his way of getting his first podium of the season. He's still trying to hold off for Lewis Hamilton. We have five and a half laps to go here at the Singapore Grand Prix. I'm coming up with a very special win here at the Marina Bay Circuit. Can I hold off Max Verstappen? I'm do handling a, doing a great job here at the end of this race, and the strategy worked out beautifully. I wouldn't be in this situation right now, but uh, I'm still holding on to the lead, and Max Verstappen having trouble with his uh, hard tires. 
I don't know why he had to go for him. And I'm still running pretty good. In fact, that car is handling beautifully. This race strategy, that I did it right this time. And this is the first time I did this strategy right. He still cannot catch me. He still cannot close in. Because I'm running on the re I'm running on the rich mix, and that's why it's giving me the advantage to uh, with the speed. I have the speed on this car. Man, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting to win and then get the advantage over for Max to stop it. And remember, that pit road over there in the Marina Bay Circuit is the second longest compared to the British Grand Prix. And that DRS is not really working for him at all. He still is standing there. But this is a great race uh, so far here in the Singapore Grand Prix. Flashback was the unavoidable contact of Ricardo, so that doesn't count. Ooh, man, it went a little bit loose going into uh, the hairpin. A little bit loose there. Looks like Max Verstappen is giving me that dirty air. Remember, that happened with, uh, with Botez. When I was right behind him, he had that dirty air, and then he broke loose. And that's how I passed him. That was a bad section to, to pass him, but then I was lucky enough to get him. Next time around, it's going to be... Uh, I think three more laps to go. Yeah, three more to go. Because next next lap is going to be 59, so it will be three laps remaining here at the Singapore Grand Prix. And looking for stop, and he is closing and closing. He wants that win here at the Singapore Grand Prix. This is the battle for the win. Three more laps to go here at the Singapore Grand Prix. And I am going to go to Rich Mix after I uh, make this turn. I don't want to do it right now. All right. I'm on the rich mix. I just wanted to save my fuel a little bit. All for stop and loses it going into the S's again. He lost it again in the S's. He's racing very hard out there and he lost it again. He's been having trouble in the S's uh, throughout the last 15 laps of this race and it's giving me the advantage. I'm only about five or six car lengths ahead of him. Looks like his hard tire is uh, He should have won this race if he went with mediums. I don't know why he had to go with the hards. Remember, he pitted on lap 10, and then I kept my strategy going very well. And a great job by the guys with this strategy. And I'm using the Haas car as an advantage. In the last two... In the next two laps, I'm going to use uh, the lap car, K-Mag, as a pick. I think this is going to help me win the race if I get around uh, K-Mag. He's going to be uh, two laps down. Well, 
Well, he's going to be a lap down because we haven't passed very much on the lap traffic. There's only about 18 cars on the lead lap, and he's the last one. Next time around, it's two laps to go here at the Singapore Grand Prix. Can I hold off Max Verstappen? And what a nice job all throughout this race uh, that I handled very well up through the S's. This is unbelievable. I can't believe I'm uh, leading this race and doing a sensational job on this strategy. And I'm now uh, right behind K-Mag. I could be able to clinch the championship in the Japanese Grand Prix, even though we're running first and second, and uh, I got to back out of the throttle because uh, I'm right behind K-Mag, and I don't have the advantage with the DRS. I get around the lap car at K-Mag, but that was a big help right there. I used the lap car at K-Mag to give it a little bit of a dirty advantage with Max Verstappen. And, I, and look at that, he's already about seven or nine car lengths because he had trouble trying to get through uh, K-Mag. That, that was the key. That was the key to, uh, to give him no handling right there. And the next time around will be the final lap here at the Singapore Grand Prix. One more lap to go here at Singapore. This is the final lap. And I'm still under Rich Mix and we are going to go full tilt with this car. I haven't changed it to number three yet, and now I do. This is going to give me a high-speed advantage here going into the straightaway for the final time. And Max Verstappen just has no chance of going into the straightaway. That's the final time we went through there. And now to the, uh, that hard apex for the final time. Very smooth. This is for the win. And just like I did in the Hungarian Grand Prix with Lewis Hamilton, it has happened again this time with Max Verstappen. And now we go into that bridge. Very good handling going in there for the final time. And I still have enough fuel to finish it. And here's the freeze. He's going to go another lap down. This has been a bad day for the Williams. 21 cars are running. This has been sensational racing here at Singapore. <coughs> and now I have the final three corners going up. Left and right. Very smoothly. And then to the final two corners. And I am going to hold off. Max Verstappen. And I am going to win the Singapore Grand Prix. What a great fuel strategy, and I get the win! Wow! Can you believe this? And I am the driver of the day, no question about that. What a job here at Singapore. I didn't expect to win here, but what a beautiful job by the strategy and everything, and holding off Max Verstappen. Because he took the hard tires, and that was the wrong tire he used. He should have won this race if he took the mediums. But what a great win. Impressive performance by me in the Singapore Grand Prix. Much better this time than it was last season. My 11th win of the season here by my team, Jaco Career Mode. This was a great episode. What a job by the team. What a job they did with the strategy. And I'm glad I went with the medium tires on that last stint of the pit stop. And second is Max Verstappen, and a great job for Daniel Ricciardo finishing in third place. He holds off Lewis Hamilton. So no Mercedes is going to get podium for this race.
This is a nice, a big win here at the Singapore Airlines Singapore Grand Prix. I never expected I was going to win, but what a great job by the strategy. I kept my patience, I kept my cool and everything, and they cured the handling pretty well and everything. It was a, it was a nice race. Beautiful job. And only one flashback, one mistake, and it was only at the start of the race, but the entire race here at Singapore was awesome. Awesome job. And I don't know why my teammate Sergio Perez didn't go with that strategy. Man, look at this. Started in the 13th position, and uh, I know I had a penalty, but that was a pit stop penalty, and thank God it wasn't a time penalty. Because I would have not won this race. I would have been in third place if uh, if it was a time penalty. At the start of the race, I had, I overtook two of my positions, but then I had that stop and go penalty. I had a five second penalty uh, in the pits, but then I dropped into sixth place. But what a great job by the strategy. In incredible job by the strategy. I, I cannot believe I won the Singapore Grand Prix. I thought I was going to be runner up, but after the... For stopping, made that pit stop to go with hards. I just passed him around, and then I took the lead, and then for stopping, just didn't have a chance. What an impressive job by by the Team JPO Banshee organization, and uh, it was sensational. Wow, that was a nice strategy. The, that was the first time uh, in my Team JPO career mode that I had an incredible strategy like that. Lewis Hamilton did that last season, and now I did it this season. Awesome win. Awesome win. And that's going to give me a huge cushion uh, in the lead in the standings. And I could be able to clinch the uh, World Championship maybe in the Russian Grand Prix or the Japanese Grand Prix because I'm 103 ahead of Max Verstappen. Voltez goes into third. Hamilton fourth. Nothing can change in the top five. Perez is still in ninth. At least he got two points uh, for finishing P9. And I don't know why he had to go with the mediums. And then he went with mediums again. But the he didn't do a good job with the strategy. He did good in the beginning, but at the end, he just, uh, I don't know why he pitted. He, he just stood a state out there. We would have had a 1-2 finish. And what a great job by the medium tires at the end of the race. And it, and it lasted, and it, and it didn't uh, create much wear on it. And I hold off Max Verstappen. Look at that, by two car lengths. He tried harder, but it looks like the rich mix of our fuel uh, with our R&D development worked pretty well. Let's take a look at the constructor standings because we're going to have a nice, uh, and we are now tied for the constructor standings because Botez and Hamilton both finished fourth and fifth, and we only got 27 points uh, out of that. That was a huge win here at the Singapore Grand Prix, and we are now tied with the Mercedes AMG Petronas. It could lead the way into the, uh, even though I might win the driver's championship, but I want to win that constructor's championship. But Perez uh, needs to get his head up uh, for the next race in the Russian Grand Prix and do well. But what a great job. Phenomenal job with the strategy. And now tied in the constructors' point standings for the, uh, with the Mercedes AMG Petronas. We got to see a highlights of this. Most certainly, we will. I want to see the highlights. Remember, uh, Perez started in P2. Verstappen was the pole sitter for this race. He had the best car, but they see I passed uh, everybody over there. And then, I don't know what was wrong with uh, the Alpatari car right there. Remember, the first flashback was uh, Daniel Ricciardo. He made contact with me, and that was unavoidable contact. And then I only used one flashback when I rammed into uh, Valtteri Bottas. That was the only mistake that I made at the start of the race. And then the entire race, uh, it came right to me. Man, look at the beautiful chrome on that red. That's a red chrome uh, paint job that I did for this Singapore Grand Prix. And I might be riding this again in the Russian Grand Prix. Look at the, look how that chrome, uh, look at how that red chrome shines at night. I, I, I did an amazing job with, with the paintwork. And look at the Valtteri Bottas. I don't know what we, who was thinking. He was coming around me at a at a bad section right there, thought he had it, and then he sp and then he spins out. But he, uh, he he recovered and come back, and he finished in P5. And he should have been out of the race, but it looks like luckily he had wing damage. 
But then I made a clean pass on Valtteri Botas. And then I took the lead. And there you see the battle between me and Hamilton. I got around him because his tires were wearing out. I think this was the moment of the race right here but when I passed all those cars to be able to stay out there and then take the lead. And there you see the end of the race and me and Verstappen going at it for the lead. And then here's the big win right there. Holding off Max Verstappen by two car lengths. Incredible performance here in the Singapore Grand Prix and I win with the strategy. And Ricardo and Hamilton, they were five seconds. They were coming at us, but uh, they, it was too late. Good job for Lando Norris. Hocon did a great job too. But I think the, uh, the bad strategy came along with Leclerc and uh, Perez, and they dropped to eight to nine. A uh, tough break for them, but at least Perez gets his two points, and that gives us 27 points. That's a good question. And let's see how uh, Claire is going to do for the interview. Man, the car certainly did, did an excellent job out there. This was a, a much better performance than last season. The fans really seem to enjoy that. And that's the second time this season I had a close finish. Uh, really your way but music. it wasn't Hamilton, it was for stopping. And I know I'm going to have an upgrade for the arrow, so I'm going to do, do that. <clears throat> it was no secret. We have a, a very good team out there and as an owner and driver and everything and we did an awesome job with the strategy. It was, uh, it was the best uh, Singapore race uh, I ever did and, uh, and only one mistake and then the, and then the whole race uh, was great. Well, uh, I don't know what happened with Val Valtteri Bottas. Uh, he made a bad pass and uh, was getting a little too aggressive with me and then he ran out of race room and then he just spun out and then crashed and everything and uh, uh, that was a bad move that he made right there and uh, that wasn't a good performance but we did great out there and uh, and we put up a good fight but uh, it was a great stamina and everything but glad Bolt has recovered from that. I don't know what Verstappen was trying to pass me and everything and then he just spun out and then crashed and then uh, then he had to change his wing and everything, but he, he made a great comeback and everything, and uh, he w was in P5, and uh, I was trying to hold my line and everything, and uh, I, no, no dirty driving or anything whatsoever, but he did a great job. But, uh, great. Well, that's everything. But he did recover to finish in uh, fifth place, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty uh, good day for the... With Mercedes AMG Petronas, but uh, they didn't have enough uh, strategy effort. But we had the strategy. And so, God, when I went with the medium tires and everything, the car just came right to me. And the, and the guys did a great job with the yellow handling. I know I had to serve that penalty in the beginning, but uh, that was only in the beginning of the race. But the, it, it certainly did just uh, handle beautifully out there. I know we struggled in practice and qualifying, and then, but the race is where it counts, and the, we did it. A nice job. That was a good performance for the Singapore Grand Prix. Wow. Much better than it was last season. And at least we get all our money in performance and everything, and it, and it did great. And I move up to 10 million. So we're going to go back to the headquarters to see. Uh, what is going to be uh, playing out here for the, uh, see what our decisions are. To, and we are going to make it that second uh, DRS slot gap uh, for, for the upgrade. And we're still thinking about doing our final spec upgrade uh, for our R&D development. And remember, the driver career mode, we can't make any regulate. We have a regulation change coming up for the Japanese, so I'm going to save as much voice as possible to... Uh, save all the points for, for the, uh, to adapt my parts, so see which one is going to be uh, effective. Well, we don't have much to go uh, for, uh, for the next race for the Russian Grand Prix, so I think we will do a, uh, a 
let's see, Aero Team building. We already did that. We did that in the previous race. I think we will do an Aero Team building. That'll be uh, our next message. And we're going to keep the same car for the next race uh, for the Russian Grand Prix. And then our next R&D upgrade is going to be this one. We are going to do the slot gap upgrade for the, uh, for the Aero package. And do we have enough points? Uh, we, we don't have enough points yet to, to put that one in. And uh, we are going to do our last second spec upgrade. We know we have the powertrain coming up. We have the quality control, and then the uh, and the next uh, upgrade will be the uh, aerodynamics. So that'll be our next upgrade. Uh, I don't know what happened to the resource power generation and everything. Uh, so there will be the aerodynamics quality control. So the aerodynamics and the powertrain are our next upgrades. Um, we did a durability upgrade, so now we have the last three coming up. Uh, and then next season we will do the third spec upgrade. So that's going to wrap it up for our uh, Singapore Grand Prix episode. And we did a great job out there. A big win in the Singapore Grand Prix with, uh, with strategy. It was uh, so well done and uh, it, it was a very good, nice race. And a beautiful job by the strategy and then the entire race uh, came right to us. Now let's see uh, what happens in the next uh, My Team Table Career Mode at the uh, Russian Grand Prix. So until then, on behalf of the uh, Singapore Airlines, thank you so much uh, for watching episode number 38 of my, my Team Table Career Mode. It was an excellent race so far. Beautifully done, and it was, and we did the car so well. So now we will move on to the next one. It will be the Russian Grand Prix, but the Driver Career Mode will be tonight and see how we can handle well at Singapore again. So everyone enjoy the rest of your day and stay healthy and be safe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. So long everyone. Awesome race here at Singapore.